Hello viewers and welcome to another episode for today. I'm Willen Abba and I'm here to give you detailed information about what is happening in the world at large. Heading to the news of today, we see Appeal Court adjourns case seeking Buhari's removal at Iku's declaration as president. Now the news in details. A court of appeal in Abuja has adjourned a case seeking the removal of Major General Muhammadu Buhari as president till May 18, 2022. The incorporated trustees of the Civil Society Observatory for Constitutional and Legal Compliance had filed an appeal seeking the sacking of Buhari for alleged false affidavit in the 2019 general elections. The civil society group subsequently asked the court to declare as president the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, who came second in a 2019 presidential election. When the case resumed on Wednesday, two lawyers, Oluwole and F.O. Amedu, appeared for both the All Progressives Congress and Buhari. The lawyers claimed to be briefed and genuine legal representatives. Following the confusion, the three-member panel presided by Justice Haruna, I joined the appeal to May 18 to enable the parties to reconcile the issue of representation. APC and Buari has asked the Court of Appeal in Abuja to dismiss the appeal seeking to nullify his election and swear in Atiku as president. The APC and Buari's submission was contained in their respondent brief of argument filed on January 31, 2022, challenging the appeal by the CSO. The CSO also said there was no any organ institution, agency, department or authority known as and called military board existing in the Federal Republic of Nigeria as at the 24th day of November 2014 when the third defendant, President Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, de deposed to an affidavit sworn at the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. It also asked the appeal court to grant a consequential order notifying the election, withdrawing the certificate of return to office of the president, and direct the first defendant stroke respondent, INEC, to issue a new certificate of return in respect of the office of president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to Al Haji Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, being the candidate who came second in the 2019 general elections to the office of president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In their response, APC and Buhari stated that the Supreme Court had resolved the subject matter of the appeal in Abubakar Atiku and another versus INEC and others, asking the appeal court to stand by the earlier decision of the Apex courts. All right, my people, that is it for the news. Well, hmm. appeal court did not even remember about this case all this while to pass the judgment. I think they should just wait for Buhari to elapse in 2023 and swear in Atiku immediately, yes, so that we won't be experiencing bloodbed and waste of billions of naira as usual due to election. El Rufai should be warming up after Atiku 8 years. Maybe with this, the South politicians will have, will have a little sense. Anyways, I think Baba Buari should be prepared for go to jail for false and manipulating 2019 election. Anyways, my people, I knew this will show up at the later end of Buari's administration just to keep the power seat to themselves by saying that the votes that brought Buari in power were false. Then the law will now remove him by replacing him with other parties' candidate, which is Atiku and he will now start for four years afresh. <laughs> well, it's not making any sense, to be sincere. Why is this country like this, if I may ask? Political strategy. Now, per se, whenever no politics, no go understand this, the way they do. Well, my people, I hope Tinebo will understand the language of the northerners. <laughs> well, I think it serves the southerners right. Those greedy Lagos politicians that allow their people to be killed because they want presidency now go and sit on the floor. That is their result for being heartless. Well, my people, that is that for this. Heading to the other news, we see this. Buari won't sign electoral bill if amended for selfish interests. Malami, now the news in details. The Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, has hinted that the President, Major General Muhammad Buari, may withhold assent from the Electoral Act Bill if it is considered to have proposals based on personal interest. According to the minister, the bill, which the National Assembly transmitted to the presidency the second time on Monday last week, just got to him on Monday for legal advice. Malami made this known while appearing on Politics, a current affairs program on China's television which our correspondents monitored on Monday. Barry had withheld assent to the first version of the bill last year, 
after consulting the Malami and the Independent National Electoral Commission, among others, on the bill. When asked if he was satisfied with the amendments made to the bill by the National Assembly after Buhari sent it back to the Parliament, Malami said, In terms of satisfaction, honestly, it is premature for me to conclude. Taking into consideration, I can't admit to you that the electoral bill was also received in our office this afternoon as I was preparing to come over for this engagement with Channel's television. I am working for advancement of democracy, Malami insists. So I have not taken steps to review the content and context of what has been presented for consideration for the president. So it is premature and primitive for me at this moment now to arrive at any conclusion, taking into consideration that I have not gone through the document to understand what it contains and analyze the same in accordance with the constitution and the prevailing laws. When asked if he loved democracy and wanted the advancement of the same, being someone who has been involved in political party activities, the minister interjected, I am working for the advancement of democracy and the democratic system. Responding to a question on if he was willing to assist Buhari to pass what the president said he wanted to leave behind as a legacy of good elections for Nigeria, and if the bill might get passed by Buhari, the minister said, honestly, without going through or reading through, I am not in position to assess whether the bill has factored the national and public interest as against selfish interests, among others, whether it is a bill that can stand the test of constitutionality and legality. I would advise Buhari not to sign bill if it is against dictates of democracy. AGF. When asked if he could advise the president to reject the amendment bill if he was not satisfied with the new version, Malami said, Certainly, if I am not satisfied and if I am not of the opinion that it is against the public interest, the national interest, and then against the dictates of democratic process, I will advise accordingly. One thing I can tell you is that we are all interested in leaving behind a legacy of a lasting democracy. A democracy that indeed accommodates the collective interest of the Nigerian state and eventually advances the national interest, national development and deepens the democratic process. So with these considerations associated with deepening democracy, with the considerations associated with national and public interest, we will certainly do whatever it takes to move democracy to the next level. When asked to express to Nigeria his commitment to deepening democracy in Nigeria, the minister stated that his office is a constitutional one, which is fundamentally governed by public interest. And when we are talking of the public interest, I am talking of the interest of 200 million Nigerians. I will be guided at all times by many oaths of office associated with public interest, exclusive of the sentiment on the feelings. Both the Senate and the House of Representatives had reworked the electoral bill for the second time by concurring on consensus, candidacy, and setting fresh conditions for political parties in the nomination of candidates for elections. The president had last year vetoed the electoral bill and sent it back to the National Assembly over the restriction of political parties to direct primary, insisting on the direct or indirect. The House had amended Clause Section 87 of the Electoral Act 2010, which is Clause 84 of the Electoral Act Amendment Bill, by inserting the indirect primary option. The Senate, however, not only added indirect primary but also consensus adoption of candidates for elections by a political party. By passing different amendments to the bill, the Senate and the House were expected to refer the versions to a conference committee to harmonize the differences and report back for final passage and transmission to the president for assent. However, both the Senate and the House of Representatives last week took a decision on the amendments last week and re-amending the electoral bill. This time, the House concurred with the Senate on the consensus, while both chambers passed the same conditions set for the option. The president has said in his interview with Channels TV on January 5, 2022, that he will sign the bill once the mandatory direct primary clause was removed. He said, all I said was that there should be option. We must not insist that it should be direct primary. There should also be consensus and indirect primary options. And if they do that, I will sign. All I would like is that there should be options. Allow them political parties to have other options. All right, my people, that is it for the news. Well, I think this man, Malami, is taking Nigerians for granted. If I may ask, does he think that this issue of signing electoral bill is his family affairs? 
and Nigerians are just keeping quiet over it. Well, it will only happen in a country like Nigeria, for sure. Not always boast of population and numbers, but are afraid to put it into test. Well, I think you should sign the electoral bill for free and fair elections. Anyways, my people, those people expecting Buhari to sign the bill have heard directly from the actual president because it seems Malami is the president of this country and Buhari is just there acting as if he's the one. Malami always takes decisions of what to say and what the president have to do in the country. Anyways, my people, that is that for today. We don't know your thoughts and opinion. We'd we'll love you to share it with us in the comment section below. In case you haven't subscribed, we'd we'll love you to do so. Please click on the subscribe button below and click on the bell by the side so that whenever we drop our content, you'll be the first person to get notified. Thanks for staying tuned to this very last moment and God bless you.